<laughs> this just sounded go. better, better all the time. <laughs> there are solutions <laughs> to stay cool at Kings Island. Uh, today we're going to be hot and humid again, so if you are heading out, be sure you're going to be, again, drinking plenty of water. If you do work outdoors, it's one of those days you'll need to take frequent breaks. Give yourself a rest uh, because you're not going to be able to cool yourself as effectively with the dew points as high as they're going to be. 85 at noon will be up near 94 a high, very similar to yesterday. We will see clouds mixed with a little sun, and most of today will be dry. The hot and humid conditions will continue right on through the upcoming weekend. Our low rain chance today about a 20% shot. But then as we head into our evening and overnight, we'll start to see the potential of some strong storms. And that would be most likely in the northern half of the Miami Valley. So this evening tonight, our severe outlook for the north is a slight risk. That means we may see an isolated warning or two. And the southern half of the Miami Valley has a marginal risk. So we couldn't rule out something strong even drifting our way. But the storms are going to tend to weaken as they travel southward. More thunderstorms will be possible Friday and into the upcoming weekend. So so we may keep that severe weather threat at a marginal or slight risk for a few days in a row. Here's a check of our satellite radar loop. You can see we've had some clouds drifting into our northern counties. A complex of thunderstorms just fizzled out right across the Indiana Ohio state line, but the clouds from that are getting into our area. And then there's another complex we're watching farther to the northwest. Uh, that's going to continue to drift our way, may impact some of our northern counties later this morning. Uh, but a lot of us stay dry through our daylight hours with that rain chance going up as we head towards evening. 70 degree dew point, it feels sticky out there, and not just here, but all across the region. It's going to be another muggy afternoon. It's 70 with a temperature of 73, so that relative humidity is at 90%. And here's future track at 6 o'clock this morning. Most of the area dry. Again, some of the area try or some of the models try to get a shower going across those northern counties, but mostly dry at noon will be partly sunny. And even for the drive home at five, a lot of us will be dry. Heading into the evening and overnight, however, we do have that increasing chance for showers and storms. We'll pause it here at 10 p.m. Some of these could be strong to severe as they work through. They'll tend to weaken as they push south, though. And then we'll be back to dry weather generally after midnight through tomorrow morning. Morning and could see some more showers and storms then tomorrow afternoon. Today up near 90, partly sunny. Slightest chance of an isolated shower or storm, but the better chance will come this evening and tonight. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some could be strong. It'll be muggy overnight. And then tomorrow up to 91 again will be hot and humid. Scattered showers and storms. Our heat index tomorrow could be approaching that 100 degree mark. And again on Saturday with a good chance for some scattered showers and storms. On Sunday, finally, a cold front will be coming through. That'll usher in some much more comfortable weather for next week. Highs will be in the low 80s Monday and Tuesday with increasing sunshine.